What's that? Oh. Oh, really? Oh. Oh, oh, hi. Hi, creepies. I'm Rose. This is Creepy Culture. So before I get into today's video, first of all, I want to thank everyone who subscribed. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. We'll have new content to you each week. So in today's video, I am tackling the charcuterie board, but I am doing that plant-based with a creepy touch to it because you know we got to do that here. But I want to show you the board I'm using for this. Assistant, where's my board? God, help around this place, I tell you. So this, I picked up at Target. Um, I believe this was two years ago at Halloween. If you don't have one like this, you can use any board. Just make sure that you cover it if it's not a plastic board. And I do show that in the video where I put some wax paper over this guy. Um, and that'll be really helpful for you. Assistant. Good Lord. Thank you. This is the other thing I'm using. To add that little creepy touch, I don't know if you can see this very well. It is a skull mold. I picked this up at Dollar Tree a couple years ago. I know some of you have these laying around in your house. Let's go grab that and I'm gonna show you what I did with it. Here's the skull mold once again. This is the chocolate that I'm using for this one. I'm gonna break it up into smaller pieces because it melts a lot easier if you do that. I don't have a double boiler, so I'm using a pan over a boiling pot. And then you just need to frequently stir the chocolate. It'll help it melt more consistently if you do that. There we go, now I'm pouring it into the mold. Trying to get them even. And then I am going to smooth them all down, as you will see, to get them all basically the same. And here they are after they were in the freezer for about 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. Now the fun, now we build our board. This is the best part because you get to be creative in doing this. You'll see that I move things around a little bit. I'm just trying to make sure that I like where everything sits. And the object of this game is to fill it as full as possible. You don't really want to see any of that board. And I'm using quite a bit of plant-based meats, cheeses. I have a couple crackers, some breads, fruits, some olives and nuts. Variety is the key. Oh boy, that was a lot of work to make this. I'm gonna have a little bite of this here. 